go live and do some painting. At least try it out and see how it goes. Oh my gosh. I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm live or not, guys, but the internet is already messing up. So that just says how this is going to go. And I got a bunch of sunlight coming in from my windows, which is so annoying. So I don't know how this is going to work out. Um, but I'm trying. Uh, yeah, the right when I clicked it on, the internet totally just made it start spinning. So I don't know how well this is going to go, but we're going to try it, guys. Hello, Doris. Hello, Blessing. <laughs> right when I clicked on, guys, it started spinning and the internet went out. I was like, oh, already. Lovely. Hello, Katie. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. I decided to switch it up a little bit. I need to get some painting done. So I decided I'm going to come and chat with you guys and try to do some painting. As I chat with you guys, we'll see how it works out. I've done this before, but um, I was actually never on the live when I done it. I just had it like on the painting or on the baby or whatever. Hello, Katie. How are you? Feeling? Oh, I read that one. Hi, blessings. So how are you guys doing? So I'm going to actually get this fauna started. And this is an alternative baby, so I am painting it differently. This is not going to be painted realistically. Um... So, um, yeah, these steps for this baby are not for a realistic baby because I will be starting off with some um, white coats for this baby. And there's a reason for that, but I can't actually say why because I want it to like be a surprise on what I'm doing, but she's going to be adorable. But yeah. So, hello, Jenny. How are you, Ryan? All right. I am very excited to do this Fauna baby because she's not only unique because she's half fawn, half baby, she's alternative in other ways too. And I am excited to create this baby. All right. Here we go. Doris, I'm waiting on a fantasy baby to be delivered today, hoping she'll come. Awesome blessings. That's always exciting. Hello, Sarah. It's okay, it's raining. Yeah. All right. Ah, so how are you guys doing today? So here's her cute little arms. So the first thing, I'm so excited to see you, thank Katie. So the first thing I'm doing, again, you guys, I want you to know this is an alternative baby and she is um, even more alternative than just being a fauna. That's why I'm using a, this coat is white. Well, it's kind of a tannish white, it's not pure white. So if you are trying to learn, this is not how you paint a um, realistic reborn. This is going to be alternative. 
So I'm going to be painting and then I'll just look up at the comments every once in a while, guys. But always, even with alternative babies, um, you should always do their coats of paint thinly and build up to the color you want. This I'll probably have to do this um, a few times, this uh, color. Oh, where's my... Into my sponge. Wow. Uh. Oh, I just lost everything. What in the world? You don't ever want to leave the jagged edges on the sponges because you'll leave a you'll leave lines on your baby. So I always just pull the little. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, this is going to be much harder to chat with you guys while I'm doing this, but I'll do my best. Now I'm going to take and wipe through the creases because this is just how I do it to make sure I don't leave a bunch of stuff in the creases. And then I go back over it with a sponge again, dabbing. It's just how I prefer to do it. It does take more time, but we all find our own ways when it comes to reborning. This baby has a lot of creases. Because it's supposed to be built like a deer. Like stronger muscles and stuff, I guess you could say. All right, and then back over it again. I always check the creases. When you're a reborn artist, you should always just tell yourself, check the creases three and four times before you bake because once you bake, it's on there. All right. It's not going to look like anything's changed at first, the first few layers. It just never does. All right, there's one on. Moving on. All right, let me look at the... <clears throat> How exciting. So excited to see you, Pancake. Oh, I'm fine, and thank you for this live. You're welcome, Doris. I will do a live video of box opening on Facebook and details video of her on YouTube. Awesome blessings. Hello, Kim. Finished to be looking great. Can't wait for my girl. Yeah. Katie, your tubby was gorgeous. The best tubby is. Thank you, blessings. Yeah, I liked her a lot. I thought I thought she turned out super awesome. For sure. Hello, Elaine. All right, here we go. Thank 
These first layers are pretty easy to do while, like, chatting and stuff. So, all right, back in the creases. So, what do you guys have planned for today? This will probably, uh, this, I'm just going to do this for a little while. Get a few layers on this baby. And then I'm probably uh, going to go live in my regular spot also. <laughs> just a regular chat because I'm not going to be able to chat to you guys as much while I'm doing this. But I just figured, why not get some painting videos up? I haven't done painting videos in quite a while. I've never done painting videos with me actually in the picture. Um, I don't think. There is that on. <laughs> no, not much difference at all. You'll see a difference after like uh, the third or fourth layer, I guess. Hello, the salty. This is a custom baby. This fauna is a custom baby. It's a little bald... Uh, Fauna, but she's not only um, she's not only a uh, uh, fantasy baby because she's a fauna. She's going to be fauna slash human slash something else, which is exciting. I'm excited. I don't get to do many fantasy babies. I uh, do a lot of the realistic babies. So this is going to be different and pretty cool. Fauna's sculpt is um, naturally uh, like a brown color. She, Fauna's, not the, Fauna's sculpt's not the same color as uh, most sculpts. So um, there's a reason why I'm using the first few coats I'm doing is like a tannish white. You guys will realize, you'll know uh, more as I go on why. All right. Definitely not used to counting hooves. <laughs> Alright, creasing. This baby has a lot of creasing in it, so like I said, I have to be very careful that I don't leave any paint in there. But i am that's one of my biggest things with reborning. Always, always check the creases many, many, many times before you bake because that will ruin the baby.
bounce again. Make sure I didn't miss any, you know. It's fun to watch you paint, hon. Is that a fauna? Yes, this is a fauna, hon. That'll be a fun surprise. Alternative baby now soon. I love fauna reborns. Love those little hoofs so much. Concentration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's much harder to chat with you guys while I'm trying to do this. But that's okay. I'm going to go live the regular way after I do this for a little while. I think I prefer going live like that. It's just, I think, well, with these layers, it's not a big deal because these are just the first layers. You can't really mess this up. Um, but once I get into the smaller details, it will be much harder to, I probably won't be able to talk <laughs> when I'm doing the, you know, the smaller, littler layers and stuff. And hello, lighthearted. I just seen you come in, huh? How are you? baby's going to be really cool. The mommy pretty much, um, like I told you guys before, she pretty much gave me, she sent me some pictures for inspiration, but she pretty much gave me free range on, on what I wanted to do. So, <laughs> I don't get that very often. I do custom, so I'm usually following directions, trying to follow directions to a T, you know. light is so bright from my window but oh well this is the first one I tried I'll get it set up eventually here she is um, it would be difficult to chat if you need to concentrate on details and shading yeah yeah it'd be much harder to do that when I get into the more you know that's good lighthearted feeling better from good I'm glad you're feeling better hon I could watch you for hours. Love to see an artist create something beautiful. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Been catching up on housework because I'm the only one who knows how to clean the house around. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm here just listening to the Providence of NB case number 25. New ones today. None in our zone. Yay. 
Hello, Anne. Makes me want to try painting one. I can only imagine what a hot mess it would turn out to be. Hey, the salty, you don't know until you try. You don't know how it will be until you try, and that's really the tr honest to God's truth. You don't know. You could maybe that you got a amazingly talented reborn artist inside of you, then you just don't know it yet. And I'll tell anybody that because you really don't know until you try. So. All right, her cute little facey face. I love her little ears. They're so cute. I'm going to have to be real careful in the creases on her head. We'll get it. All right. We'll pat first and then we'll go over the creasing. I love this baby's little scrunched up face. This baby looks a lot like the, if it was like a realistic baby, it didn't have the ears and stuff. It looks a lot like the Maggie and Maddox sculpts. The little full body scrunched up babies from Bountiful Baby. I think. I mean, not exactly, but pretty similar. All right, now we got to get in these creases because there's definitely some puddles that you cannot leave or you will be in trouble. Stumps. So cute. This baby has some deep creasing too. All right. Now, back over it. One more time.
Oh, I'm getting a cramp in my hand. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Oh, still crocheting. Awesome, Doris. What's Envy? Envy is New Brunswick. Oh, okay. Oh, that's sweet of you to say maybe one day. It's true. You don't know until you until you try it. Seriously. I have CP and paint. Anyone can. Right, Jen? I got a wild cleaning hair. Oh, I was up cleaning my nursery at 11 p.m. last night. <laughs> I do that. Sometimes I'm just Sometimes I just get really hyper, and I need to do that and situate this whole deal so I don't have to sit on the dang floor anymore. <laughs> uh, I surely can't, just saying. Are you nesting lighthearted? It's 7.15 p.m. here, chilling, watching Katie, and waiting on some food. Be stressing after a hard day at work. I bet you could if you tried. No, I just got two new babies, so I guess I'm late nesting. <laughs> Astro, I can't even draw a straight line with the ruler. I'm telling you, I used to think that too. It doesn't, like, when it comes to drawing, you don't have to know how to draw to be able to paint because I can't draw at all. And I've canvas painted for many years, but, you know, and reborn for six. Uh, hear those sounds is so relaxing. I've just been really sick for days and I have slappy stepson and hubby so the house was a mess. Once I started cleaning I couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> Neither can I but I paint. That's excellent Astro. Katie's seen my work. Yeah, I truly believe anybody can anybody can reborn as long as they don't give up and they're okay, you know. When you're learning stuff, you're going to make mistakes. Everyone makes little mistakes, you know. When you're learning anything. Um, and you just got to not be scared and go for it. That's kind of how I feel. <laughs> Whatever, Anne. I usually, at this time, when I have a baby baking, I usually will um, work on another baby, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to chat with you guys. That's what I usually do. When I have a baby in the oven, oven or cooling off, I usually uh, work on another baby. I like to turn my uh, pieces halfway through just to make sure that it's even. Um, some people don't do that. I prefer to. Uh, just to make sure it's baking evenly. Uh, I'd rather someone paint for me and I'll put the doll together. <laughs> Anyone can do anything they set their minds to. Never say never. Exactly. I agree with that 1,000%. Anybody can do anything they want in this world if they try hard enough and don't give up. I really, really believe that. 1,000%. And I'm not saying it won't be hard and there won't be struggles with it, but absolutely can do anything you put your mind to. Yes, it's hot. Can you tell? I'm, <laughs> I'm either having a hot flash or the oven's making me hot. <laughs> uh. 
this this oven uh, seems like it throws off more heat than my um, my other ovens. I have three ovens. All right, you are hot. Yeah, now she's like really hot. But there's the first layer, and there's really no different. There's the flint. Well, yeah, there is. You can see it a little bit. You can see it lightened it up. Like from this part to that, it lightened it up some. That's what I'm wanting. Cute. She's very, very hot. So now you have to, with heat set paints, it's a waiting game. That's why I work on another baby usually. Because now it has to cool before you can paint more on it. You have to let it cool down. Because if I put paint on it right now, whatever I laid on there would uh, um, adhere right to it because it's hot. So you have to let it cool. So that's that's the thing with heat sets. You got a lot of time waiting. But like I said, I usually work on another baby while I'm waiting. Nothing in the creases. Everything looks great. All right, now I just got to wait for it to cool off for about five, ten minutes. So, but yeah, usually I would pick up another baby and be working on another baby, um, you know. Uh, Elaine, I ain't the sharp knife in the drawer. Quit, and I painted a baby once with my artist direction, but I didn't read the baby. Wait a minute. I didn't read the baby and ended up getting one of those Kemper mohair wigs. It was pretty cute, and I ended up just giving it to my great niece. Yeah. My parents never let me say I can't. Right, Jen? Root, not read. Oh, okay. But I didn't root the baby and ended up getting... Right. Knives can be sharpened, huh? Right? <laughs> of course, I have the lowest of the lowest self-esteem there is. Believe me, I have. Yeah, but you're the only one that can change that. I used to hate myself completely. Like, everything about me. I hated myself horribly. And um, I just decided one day, you know what? No. I'm not going to anymore. What's the temperature on the oven? Well, everybody's ovens are different. This is this is actually not a new wave. Um, I have three different ovens. I use them all. Uh, this one I got set at 250C or 482F. But you got to, when you reborn, you have to dial your own oven in because they all are different you know what i'm saying but yeah this isn't a new wave so it's different temperatures this is actually the oven that i started with and i love it i can't i can't get rid of it because it works great so i just use all of them we can tell and we got to break you out of that negative thinking yeah i'm trying I'm trying to get her to see what I mean, but yes, I do. It's not funny, Ann. It's really not funny. That bothers me that you say stuff like that. But anyway, all right, so now it's just kind of a waiting game until the sauna cools down. You have to love like yourself before others will. That's what I was taught and taught my children. Right. Yeah. Or before you can really love. How I see it is um, if you don't love yourself, how can you truly love others and show others love? And don't take that wrong, Anne. I'm just saying that's kind of, it kind of goes into that. You should love yourself. There's no reason for you not to love yourself. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. I'm off to watch my friend's new baby box opening hugs and let you out. 
Thank you, lighthearted. I'll see you later, hon. I'll probably be doing a regular live here after a while, but all right. Have fun watching the box opening. I love box openings. <laughs> see you later, hon. Love you too. I don't have friends. Everyone knows that one is MC. Really? You don't have friends? Now that makes me feel great, just so you know. And I guess I'm just chopped liver. <laughs> oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Oh, for heaven's sake, oh, and ritual loving kick up the butt being sent. Snap out of being so hard on yourself, hon. Life's too short until you learn to like yourself. You'll never move on. I agree. I try to, I try hard to tell her that, and she just struggles with it. She's had a lot of people beat her down when she was younger, but, you know, so did I. I had people that were horrible to me. Horrible to me. We got to choose to just rise above that, you know, and not believe what them people had beat into us. You know? Come on, girl, you're still hot. It's a waiting game. <laughs> if you're negative about yourself, it affects those around you. Good afternoon, Melissa. Ouch, and you get love and support on here, hon. What are your friends, too? I know, that's what I was saying. I guess, really? You don't have friends, Anne? I guess I'm... Okay. <laughs> no, you know I love you, Anne. I just... You are too hard on yourself. You, uh... Look down on yourself too much, and I don't understand it. I gotta have lots and lots of support, girls. Hard to get these days, you know. You have to rise above and be kinder to yourself. Yeah. Yep. Whew. Do do. Look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. So here's the little, you know, Kara Lee, the baby that Kara Lee was talking about. Look at this little, little teeny tiny. I'm on live. Look at this teeny tiny. Oh, my gosh. So precious. <laughs> little teeny teeny. It's either an 8 or a 10 inch. I can't. I think maybe 10, but look. So cute. And then here's the little hands and arms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm excited to paint this one, but it's tiny. Look, compared to my hand. <laughs> Super cute. I don't know. I just, they wasn't in there though. All right. So let me, I think she's about cold now. I will check. Isn't she cute? Little teeny tiny bit. Oh, yep. Yeah, 10 inch. She is a 10 inch because this is her little body. She's so cute. So realistic looking, but teeny tiny version. <laughs> yeah, just put them there. Thank you. Oh, it's over there on the, um, on the laptop. All right. I haven't. Get, if you really need the one, get in my wallet and grab the one. It's in my purse. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, that face is so precious. I know, right? It's super cute. I was left for dead, for real. I know I'm worth being on this planet. I know I'm a good person. I believe I deserve love, and loving myself was the way to recover from all the pain. I agree, Elaine, 100%. Is that a... Oh, this is smaller than a preemie, hon. 
This is a little 10 inch baby. Yeah, she's she's a little 10 inch baby.